going on everyone so today I got a package for you guys it's a used item that I purchased off of eBay for hmm brand new you're looking at probably what three hundred dollars tops used you're looking at 250 new I believe you're looking at five hundred dollars between four fifty to five hundred dollars use you're looking at a starting auction off price of two hundred and fifty dollars and a ending auction price of three seventy five to close to four hundred dollars it all depends on what it, parts are there if it's all a cabling uh, and it depends on the market you know right now there is still a high demand for this particular item uh, now it may not be necessary that particular model the item in general uh, it's definitely a necessity if you're a gamer that is into street car racing there's going to come a time where you're going to consider having a steering wheel and some foot pedals and potentially a clutch in this box we have the logitech g27 which the hardware in this box is the steering wheel you got your um, stick shift and you have your foot pedals which includes a clutch brake gas so what was not included was the actual power adapter to power on this monster uh, because of that and because the seller did not have a game to test the seller sold it for such a very low price so when I when I first looked at it, it was like around two hundred dollars and I pretty much shot the seller offer for hundred fifty dollars the seller declined my offer in one one seventy five so I was like no worries if it's meant for me it'll still be there so I waited three weeks three weeks which at that given time it went down to hundred and fifty dollars so I was like hmm perfect timing and if I'm not mistaken I believe I gotta look at the, the actual price that I bought it from I gotta look at the actual price that I purchased this uh, steering wheel for I believe it's 125 but the reason why it was so low is because the seller could not test the item the seller did not have a power adapter nor did the seller have an actual computer set up for gaming for steering gaming as a seller you don't have that type of hardware you know you got other items that you gotta sell are you really going to purchase a computer purchase a game you know to sell something of this nature it depends it all depends on your inventory you know it was mentioned that since the seller cannot test the seller does not know if this steering wheel pedals nor if nor if the gear shift actually works so we're going to be in for a surprise <laughs> let me just say that i haven't seen the items in the box the box is still sealed up as you guys can see i don't know if anything's missing i don't know if anything's broken we don't know but let's open up the box to find out uh, i need to invest in the you know a uh, knife sharpener This thing, this thing needs to be clean. Gear shift. Steering wheel. It's filthy. Ooh, this is heavy. Foot puddle. All right, guys, so as you can see, we got the steering wheel, we have the foot pedal, and we have the clutch off to our right. I got some paper towels. I'm gonna go ahead and get these paper towels unraveled. And we also have our Clorox wipes. The issue at hand is that everything is just filthy, disgusting. We're gonna take our Clorox wipes let me get them out. Guess what we'll do is first start on a steering wheel. It's nice, 
Uh, however, it seems like that there's a button right here that's jammed, stuck, or just, you know, may just be a, you know, a loose sensitive button. This button's fine, that one's fine, this one's functional, that one is functional, that one's functional. That's cool. This is functional. This one is not, but it could be the cable that's wrapped around. Just look at that, that's nasty. The mount for the table to basically keep this from sliding. This is broken, but you know, we can use some JB Weld. All right, now let's see. All right, that button now is functional. So both of these buttons are now functional. Start cleaning this bad boy. It's just a nice wipe down. Which what we'll do is we'll take some of our alcohol and we'll use the alcohol to give it a nice wipe down as well. So I always start with the outer surface, the bigger surface, and then work my way in. All right. So now we're on the actual steering wheel. We call it the Ferrari shifter. Ferrari and Lamborghini shifter now let's get to cleaning the actual leather steering wheel now I usually wouldn't use Clorox or anything of that nature on a leather wheel but you know we're gonna do it today <laughs> it's not my actual uh, steering wheel my truck or car so we're good it's just a toy you know, somebody was eating a cheeseburger, or looks like somebody was eating chocolate right here. That's what that seems like. Put some respect in Logitech's name, guys. For the most part, the steering wheel is nice and clean. Every button except for that button appears to be functional. This should be uh, ease to clean. Like around. You know, you try to do your easy areas. I'm gonna grab this cable. Oh. Let's get back to. Push the pedal down to the crevice and underneath here. Do the same thing here. That brake pedal may not that brake pedal may, may not stop us if this thing actually works. As you guys can see this is the gear shift. Uh, it still works. It still works. This is first. This is second. That's third. That's fourth. That's fifth, and that's reverse. Still works. It's missing the top piece, but still works. So I'm gonna clean this gear boot. Hopefully, clean that. Wipe around our controls here. Glue or something right there. So the last thing I'm gonna do is go over it with uh, some rubbing alcohol. Make sure that we are good to go.
So we clean all of our stuff here. Everything is nice and clean. Cable's clean. Here comes the point to see if we actually bought the correct power adapter for the stand wheel so that way everything can get powered. Power cable and our power brick. So we got our two serial ports here. Uh, this is a female, which the female connects here to the male port. And this is going to be for our gear shifter. The far right is going to be our foot pedals. The power goes here. So we'll plug it up. So this port, like so. I am about to go see if this actually works. We got the steering wheel, we have the gear shifter, and we have the foot pedal on the floor. So what I'm going to do is connect the power to the power adapter. All right, All right. there we go. The wheel is now recalibrated. So that works. Um, I see power here, so that's good. I don't think there's a power light on there, but let me see. Clutch, brake. Yes, I'm gonna have to use that thing on my back so that way this thing doesn't keep moving. So let me just flip this around. There we go. Yep, that's perfect. Before I can play American Truck Racing Game, I need to get my computer configured for the steering wheel. So what I did is I went to Logitech's website I searched for the G27 racing wheel and I clicked on it. Now from here, I selected the downloads. It also detect my operating system, which is Windows 10. So I selected download. All right, so we're launching the setup software. The Logitech G27 steering wheel is disconnected from the computer. The USB port is not connected. I'm gonna let it go through its process of installing the software. And now once it says, please connect your Logitech game controller now, I'm gonna just hit next. What happens? It does not see it. So what I'm going to do is connect it. Click next. G27 wheel test. So let's go ahead and move. So at first it was not detecting my steering wheel. Windows driver was interfering. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. So it looks like everything's checking out. So let's go ahead and click OK. We don't need to look at the README and hit finish. All right, so we are good to go. It's time to unwind and be a kid again. Got my little truck right here. A shifter, wheel, foot pedals. Clutch down, gear shifted. Let's go. Of course, the car will be right there. so long since I drove a manual that I forgot how to get off a hill. Put it in the first gear, foot down on the clutch, and try to give it some gas. First start it back up. Truck starts back up. 
Now I'm trying to ease it into first gear. And then freaking stalls out. Stalls back out. Do it all over again. Uh, God darn it, I'm stuck. Uh, yeah, I'm stuck. This is the steering wheel. This is the bottom of the steering wheel. Um, this particular is a desk clamp. When this is sitting flat uh, against the desk, this clamp basically secures the whole steering wheel to the desk so that way when you're driving, it doesn't move back and forth. This was broken. This clamp here was broken. It was broken when I bought it. So I took some Loctite super glue, applied it all around the broken pieces of the plastic. And as you can see right now, that's moving. So that's showing me a good sign. Now, I don't believe that Loctite super glue um, has enough strength per se. For me to actually, you know, tighten this down to truly secure to the table. So more than likely what I'll do is probably leave it as is until I can actually get some glue. Such as this glue here, the Gorilla Glue. This is what I actually want to use, but as you can see, it's pretty much already uh, been used. It's, it's honestly down here, but since I've used it so often, everything above it is hard. It's like, this thing is hard as a rock. I can't even, can't even squeeze it. But once I get some more Gorilla Glue, what I'm going to do, you know, as you can see, I got that Gorilla Glue, this wood Gorilla Glue, and then over here is supposed to be Gorilla Glue pen. You know, I should have used this. I'll try this next time. If this breaks again, I'm going to use the Gorilla Glue and give that 24 hours and i know for a fact that gorilla glue is going to hold again that's not a game changer um i'm pretty darn sure if we were to open up this actual wheel we'll be able to truly you know gain access to it and probably do like a jb weld I might just do that i might just jb weld it and let it care for 24 hours as far just with having this side here it works. It works. As long as I don't really turn the stairwell towards that way. Just absolutely thrilled that everything works. All I had to do is clean it up and pretty much get it, get the settings dialed in into my gaming.